Greetings everyone, uh, it's me again. So I was I was given a key to the game Solitarica, Solitarica, um, but I haven't had the time to play to stream it, so um, to give it back, and since I know I wouldn't have time to set up a full off stream, I just wanted to record a short video of it, and to try and show it off. Um, so Solitarica is like Solitaire with a various sets of decks that have different focuses and different abilities as well as I'm aware. Um, you get these points outside of uh, every time you go through a dungeon. It's it's set up like a, a journey or a dungeon-ish or whatever you want to call it. And every time you finish one of those you will uh, get more of these which allow you to unlock new decks, allow you to unlock cards, etc. So I want to try and do a dungeon. Another one. Magic decks of cards show this pretended the power of the armies of stuck. So it's this journey. Fiddlehooven. Pretty nasty place. You should turn back though, do you think? Dirt gobby. So the game does play out like a normal solitaire, except uh, it takes damage whenever, I, like, when, if I clear the entire board, I win. And whenever I have to like draw a new card, it can attack and uh, deal damage to me. Uh, nipple. But that's not a card I can use either. I have my abilities out here in the corner, which will help me. Uh, once I unlock stuff, once I uh, get a bit of mana from having played the game, or having unlocked cards. <laughs> you see like every card has an icon on it, that's uh, uh, like the same as one of these. And then these are the coin icons as far as I'm aware. Gift to willpower. So these, uh, like the enemies, also have attacks which either doesn't do anything or actually benefits you as a sort of. Uh, so it's not just like it's a brutal attack every time you have to turn around. Uh, I'm just not getting very good draws, so I can do um, have my armor ability, then I have a uh, premonition where I can see where the next card is, which is still useless. Uh, and then a healing ability. And it like uses these resources to use whatever ability. And then this one which allows me to destroy a card. So if I can get a 2 or a 10 that would be delightful. There we go. So you can see it's hitting the armor. So in game you get uh, like rewards, which, as far as I understood, can be used to buy more stuff, like a shop here. So you can buy abilities. More items. So you can have four items and six spells. So you can buy it now, or you can pay a certain fee to say uh, next next uh, shop, next battle. I can still buy it. So I want 
also buy the stun ability. Pull fiend. It's a very cutesy game with like cutesy creatures and stuff. That wasn't immediately apparent. So this one provides a out of game level up gem. So this creature like puts his ability down and readies it up it seems. So you get 30 for winning a battle, and uh, then you get like whatever you got from monsters in game. Bjord. That's still going, give me a second. Berserk damage, select the front card, then lose two hearts and damage another random front card. Oh, I like this one. Increase maximum heart speed too. Increase willpower, right. By the beards of Fiddlehoven. Seven. No. Hair everywhere. He took a defense point for me. From me. Ace king queen. I don't have a jack. Oh, the king is not really useful. Trained another defense. Pointy stick. So this like has a like, cooldown ability, so it like attacks. It attacks after a round has gone by, it seems. <laughs> Use my stun ability on him. <laughs> so I don't have to get hit by a pointy, pointy stick. Two cards from bearded. Well, this is a magnificent beard, but I'm not sure entirely what it does in the cards. Uh. 
Obvious will grow. That only almost went wrong. I can totally recommend stopping for picking the FPX tower, totally safe. Willpower, so this is willpower. It says in the bottom, I just realized now that it says in the bottom one it does. I'll skip that completely. Stun one turn. Oh, stun for me just means I can't use abilities then. Alright. Dazzles. Oh, and tells you what the Dazzle card did. This hamster is pretty cruel. And I'm just... oh, it changes... oh. It like changes what the card is. You eat that stun then. It might actually be a uh, thing, good thing for me, because then uh, I might get a card which suits better to what I draw. Like here. Agility becomes willpower. If it had a queen, Jerry <laughs> <laughs> Rex. Um. <laughs> if I can just remove one of the cards, then I can use. Uh, my destruction card on the other one. But I might just lose because of shit rolls. That is possibility. Yeah, now I'm stunned for this turn. However, it worked out. There we go. That was pretty close.
Thorns do one damage when removed, but not when destroyed by spells. Covered in thorns are very efficient. Keep your distance. That is a sad lifestyle, isn't it? Hawk buggy, hawk buddy. Four damage, two random front cards become thorny. I would use a jack right now. Oh, I misclicked. This is not gonna end well. I was like, I might as well just take the damage from that one. That was alright. Oh, shit. Rip health bar. God, my draws are bad right now. I also know that I'm taking damage, but, um... I need to clear stuff. One way or another. There's not a lot of willpower cards for whatever reason. I managed to keep the bug stunned for most of the fight though. Ah, this is not looking good. short and sweet playthrough. This is about the length. The game takes around 20 minutes for uh, one run if you do poorly. Like, less if you do worse than me, probably a little bit if you do longer than me. So that that's why I wanted to do a recording instead of a stream, because it's a cutesy little game where you can do a run like whenever you're bored. It is l solitaire. Like, it's when what you do when you have, have some time on your hands. Alright, that's all I wanted to do. I'll catch you next time.